Kevin Bear. Welcome to Infinite Power Workout. We have a wild and wacky show for you today. You have to check out the craziness going on over here. Come on, I'm just going to show you guys. Check this out. These guys are crazy. Kicking things, punching and knocking around. Check this out. Better on the, uh, better on the bed than on another person, you know? Lee? Lee. What? <laughs> Wait, oh, wait. Hi, I'm just welcome uh, to Infinite Power hanging workout. out with we my welcome to Infinite little buddy over workout, here. Dude. And hi to everyone at home now. <laughs> I'm C. Almond. And, and I'm Lee Rearman, and I have the unique distinction of introducing our next guest. Now, All right. she was once on a team and a oh. teammate of Terry Bradshaw. Oh. She is one of the most famous music video personalities in the history of the civilized universe. Oh. And she is the only person, I've heard this rumor, that Jerry Lewis will let interview her. Well, first of all, I don't know what you're doing in the civilized universe. I didn't think you had anything to do but with it. But do you know it, who she is? Yes, yes, Cynthia Garrett. Is she here? She's right there. Come on, Cynthia out here, Garrett. Cynthia. Come on, honey. Woo! Come on out here. I'm gonna say goodbye to my other friend now. <laughs> hey, how are you? Look. Give you a kick. Boy, I'm all right, great. don't get anywhere near that. He's in. He did something well, wrong. We had, this we had a little chat, and he's, yeah. uh, he's back on my better side now. Yes. Well, we're going to have a great workout. We're going to work out with you and get some of your secrets to success and hear all about muscular dystrophy secrets. and the inside scoop on and Jerry Lewis. And we got plenty of show. People. We'll be right back. Woo! He ticked me off again. I'm going <laughs> back after it. Do you think he did something? Woo! Hey, I'm back here with my good buddy Bob. Please, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> There's a, but there is a method to my madness. We are oh. gonna work out triceps. That is the first part of our workout routine. Right. And right now, with my good help of my good buddy Bob, we are working a <laughs> tricep right now. I try to teach these people at home: don't beat yourself up. Here you are beating yourself up on poor Bob. Well, over the commercial you. break, we we had a, a a falling in, and we're back to being buddies again. Oh, all right. Well, that's important because you know you should always make up. I mean, you never know when the last time you're going to see somebody is, especially somebody like Bob. That's right. So anyway, we want to do some triceps right now. So I guess we'll start with you, as long as you're not offending Bob or anything. Okay, so the triceps are really the biggest part of your arm. If you want big guns, work the triceps. If you want tight arms, work the triceps. A little bit more important than the biceps, but now, I usually obviously do. Obviously, this is a, a very good exercise for bodybuilders and exercise and athletes, professional athletes, but it's also very good because your tricep uh, extends your elbow. Right. And so if you're doing anything like even driving a car, your arm's extended, you yeah, need nice strength in your arms. Yeah, you're always using the tricep, and even when you're on the bench press, you're using the tricep. So here's an extension. And, uh, and I'll turn this way a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he likes guy. to keep his elbow in really nice and, and really flex those tries as he goes up. That looks really good. Um, I usually use three exercises, do three sets of each, sometimes two push downs, sometimes two extensions. So this is one that definitely works. And he's going across the back. You can also go straight back. Now, second one, Victor. We have Victor doing um, another kind of tricep extension on the cables. This looks excellent. Now, if you want arms like Victor, pay attention because uh, this is how you get him. He's got constant tension going with that tricep extension. That looks absolutely fabulous. He's keeping his elbow constant. His arm is not all over the place. That's always important in tricep work. Killer. And, uh, <laughs> and Mary Ann and I are going to do some kickbacks over here. This is, a, this is an easy exercise you can do anywhere, anytime. Get a soup pan and follow along with us. And Just keep your elbow in. And one of the important things to remember is keeping your elbow in, but when you're doing an arm routine, there's a lot of room for error. So you don't want to move it into the shoulder. You don't want to move it uh, into the back. You want to keep a nice, good balance. And we're going to work our triceps and be right back after this commercial message. We're back with Cynthia Garrett here on the Infinite Power Workout, and I'm thirsty. Where'd you get that? Mm, this is um, from uh, Paramount, provided us with this pouch, H2 Oasis. 
Why it's don't good. I get, why don't I get a pouch to Oasis? <laughs> well, maybe because they don't like you. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> see the kind of respect they get around here, Cynthia? <laughs> they like you. I'll get you one. I'll get you anyway, one. Anyway, Miss Cynthia Garrett, ladies interview, and gentlemen. If you do the interview, I'll get you one, okay? okay? All right. All right. All right. That's Cynthia. Cynthia, we're actually really happy to have you here. You're here from VH1 today. I'm here from VH1 you know, and you? actually, more importantly, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Oh, that's good. We now, really appreciate that. Now, at the opening, I mentioned something that was in your in your promo about the, your, your press release about the telethon. Could you tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I'm getting ready to go into my second year as a national co-host of the telethon with Jerry Lewis, and it came about through my work with VH1. The executive producer was sitting around trying to figure out how to tie some sort of thing in with VH1 and we had this sweepstakes winner who uh, was a young man who had muscular dystrophy. So bada bing bada bang he calls the president at VH1 and he says you know we'd love to do some sort of cross promotional thing and so VH1 which is my day job called me and they said you want to do some tape segments for us for this you know for the t for the telephone. My and day I said, job. I'm one of the most well, famous people in the world during the day and at night well I do a lot of uh, uh, stuff for for know. muscular dystrophy. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? That's why I don't get any water. But it, but it was a good thing because it I came to me. Water. It came to me perfectly because it turned out that I lost my cousin to muscular dystrophy when oh. I was 13. So I kind of felt like, oh, this is meant to be. So I followed my heart and I ended up uh, doing these pre-tape segments. Went into the studio to meet Jerry Lewis a week before the telethon, and he said, "Have you ever done live TV before?" And I said, well, gosh, I did about 30 minutes at the Grammys this year, but that's it. And he said, I think you got it, kid. And he threw me into the telephone. I've been great. there ever since. Terrific. Why the heck are we interviewing her? I think she'd be, she should be interviewing us. Yeah, okay, us. let's just stop right now and you can know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How have you What's been What's your able? thing with Bob over there? <laughs> <laughs> that's what she wants to know. That's what people at home want to know. Well, look, we're, we're going yeah, out later. You just mind your own business. <laughs> Oh my god. That's the best looking date okay. I've had all year. How have you been able to accomplish so much? You know something? I'll tell you. I'm I in short a strong faith and a trust in God because I have to tell you I could sit here and give you about 19 of my own you know sort of well thought out logical well I did this and I did that but a lot of times I feel like the car is driving and I'm just holding on and the yes. way to accomplish anything in your life is to just believe that you're in the place you're supposed to be let your heart be your guide and have a lot of faith in, in yourself and in God and where he wants to take you yes I think a lot of people uh, don't give themselves enough of a chance. They settle for less all the time. Mm -hmm. And so. you can do anything you want to do with your life. Right. You really can. Right. You have a lot of that going on around here. Well, mm -hmm. you, you, know, you also mentioned, um, from an actual activity standpoint, that when you were younger, you were involved in a lot of athletics. Because you, you, you got a fantastic mm -hmm. physique still. But how do you stay in shape now? I chase, I chase my son around the house every day. There Christian, you go. don't touch that. Christian, don't touch this. Christian, mommy's gonna get you if you do that again. Well, if he gives, my you, secret. If, if he gives you too much, too much trouble, I've got Bob, the prosthetic guy over there. I actually would like to introduce we'll Bob over. to Christian. So That's you, right. You have, you've done a lot of interviews. What are some of the highlights? Oh man. Well, you know what? Jerry Lewis is always a highlight, and and after him, I was really inspired by Bette Midler. She was just like one of those amazing oh, wow. women that I really looked up to and it was great to sit down and talk to her. And she gave me a lot of advice that I, that I kept. But Jerry Lewis has been one of the most inspirational highlights of my career because he, he, kind, of, he, he kind of took me under his wing. And it's really nice when someone that you look up to says, you know, let me take you under, under my wing and give you some advice and, and, and teach you the ropes. So All that's right. been great. So what's the good advice that you received from Bette Midler or what's the mm. best advice you've received from one of these big celebrities? Well, Jerry Lewis told me, always be yourself, never let him change you because God gave you exactly what you needed to be here. Ah. So don't let anybody mess with the formula. Yes. And Bette Midler told me, she said, you know, follow your dreams, but in the process make sure you give something back because ah. what we give is really the only thing that we acquire. Right. If that makes any sense. Yeah, no, it does. And you know, in all fairness, Bette Midler has got uh, roads that she cleans, not personally, but she actually gives exactly. money to clean up all the roads. If you go down the 101 freeway, you exactly. see a sign. This highway is cleaned up by Bette Midler. That's the 101 <laughs> freeway out here in Los Angeles. Exactly. I know, so she's trying to give something back. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a kick in my neck looking up at you guys. I yes. know. So How come I'm down here in purgatory? <laughs> so I know you're going with the flow, okay? That's one of our rules. Go with the flow. Go uh -huh. with the flow. What do you want to do in the future? 
Well, I just signed, can I say this? I just signed a development deal with Paramount. Congratulations. Oh, I want my own show. I want to make a difference in the world and uh, hopefully say well, something good. you're definitely oh, making a difference beautiful. already. And we're going to be back to make a difference in your life right after this break on Infinite Power Workout. Do you promise? I promise. All right, you're getting water. Yeah, I'm getting some water you're right now. Water. Me and Bob, the, my prosthetic friend. <laughs> Welcome back to Infinite Power Workout. This is an excellent time to stretch your body and stretch your mind. Let's talk about two barriers to confidence, which cost us plenty in life. Shyness and sensitivity, which often look the same and are interpreted by others to be a lack of confidence. 40% of people claim to be shy. Shy people miss out on opportunities because they feel physically uncomfortable stepping up to the plate in person but often do great work otherwise. Psychologists are just identifying another 15 to 20 percent as highly sensitive. They limit their social interactions, which appears to be shyness. Sensitive people process sensory information more deeply and are irritated by noise, bright lights, and other environmental traits that are overstimulating. Such people can be creative, intuitive, passionate, and caring but seem to limit their opportunities, which is unfortunate. Our culture is active, and we can't accept others to read our minds. We have no choice but to speak up and exert confidence, or life passes us by. We're all unique and talented, so keep that in the front of your mind. Life is what you make it. I bet Dr. Elizabeth has a tip for us today, too. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Lambert. The other day I was thinking about attraction, the possibility of love at first sight, and all that good stuff. Everyone dreams of meeting the perfect person, falling in love, and being in the perfect relationship. And even though experience and life have taught us that there is no perfect person and no perfect relationship, we're all seeking the ideal partner. The best relationship is one that is nourished and developed by both partners with great love, care, and trust. But what about the question of love at first sight? Is there really such a thing? Many experts say that love at first sight is a real phenomenon, says Dr. Avida Offit. There are reasons for this feeling. Either the person reminds us of someone that we know, or that we've known before, or there is a space to be filled, such as when a parent dies. But for love at first sight to happen, you must be ready for love. And of course, there's always the added effect of pheromones, hormones stimulated by the sense of smell, which can create an instant and strong attraction. Ooh. So the next time you feel that zing when you meet someone, you might want to pay attention. It could be fate hard at work telling you that you just met the love of your life. And remember, be healthy and happy. It's your life. Make it wonderful. Infinite Power Workout. We're here with Cynthia Garrett and a little birdie told me mm -mm. a little something that you had a special dream that you've always wanted to do, cardio kickboxing. Yeah, especially because Robert Temple's in the house. So now he, I really you want better to do believe cardio it. Kickboxing. Robert, quick beat up, Bob. Come on over here. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how do thank we salute you. each other? Yeah, oh, this. this way. Uh -huh. There's a position of being humble, okay. allowing someone to come in and share something with you, and mostly God. Very so good. We're okay. here. All okay, right. we're going to start off up. by putting our right foot back, left foot forward. Guard position, hands in front of you, chin tucked down slightly. We're going to do what we call a left jab, right cross, a left hook, a right uppercut. Ooh. Good, here we go. Now we're uh -oh. going to repeat this movement more than once, and then we're going to also try to do some foot maneuvers with it. Okay, okay. okay, so let's start off just with a rock and jab. Just rock, jab, turn, pivot, torque, cross, reverse that turn to a hook, dip down, and push up, uppercut. Good. Okay, now this we got that one. Arm, now, oh, stay relaxed Ooh. on the shoulders now. Do, do, do it's important to stay relaxed. One? You got it. It's <laughs> okay. important to stay relaxed. It's important to breathe. Okay. And pace yourself. Okay. Here we go. Let's go jab one. Jab. Jab. 
Jab, jab and cross, 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 cross and hook, 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 hook and uppercut, 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 jab, cross. All right, let's pick it up. Here we go. On your toes down, hands up. Here we go. Ready? And jab, 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 cross, jab, 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 cross, hook, jab, jab. Jab, cross, hook, jab, 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 cross, hook, jab, 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 cross, <laughs> on your toes. Okay, we're going to move back and forth now. We're going to prepare the kick. On our kick, we're going to do what we call a push kick. We're going to step forward with your left foot. Lift your knee up, push forward, and pull back. Yes, just knee a up. push kick. Knee up first, push forward, then step back. Good. Keep those guard hands up all the time. Here we go. We're going to go jab, cross, Push kick and pull back. Good. Let's go push kick again. Push kick. Push kick. Push kick. Jab cross. Jab cross. Jab cross. Jab cross. Push kick. Chop kick. Rear foot turn. There we go, come on. Jab kick. There we go. Push kick. This is to give a hope for the people at home. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on. Hands up. Let's build it up. Let's go with jab cross now. Jab cross. Let's go. One, two, come on. One, two, come on. One, two, come on. One, two, come on. One, two, let's push kick. Push kick. Push kick. Push kick. Push kick. Chop. Let's go. Chop. Chop. Chop! Chop! Back to push! 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 Come on! Push! Keep it up! Push! Here we go! Jab cross and go! Jab cross! Come on! That's it, ladies! Moving those feet! Let's come on! Feet moving now! Pivot and torquing! Jabbing and crossing! And let's get ready to do that kick! Here we go! And chop! 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 Let's go. Come on, come on. There we go. Now we're pumping. Here we go. We're working on our time. Catch your breath. You gotta breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Jab cross hook. Let's go. Jab cross hook. Are you doing Cynthia? Come on. All right. Jab is crossing my hook. Jab. Jab. There we go. Jab. Get your pace. Jab. Get your breath. Jab. Jab. Jab, we're gonna go low now. Jab, sneaky peek. Jab, move the feet. Jab, huh. yeah. switch side. Woo. Switch, 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 Woo. switch. Here we go. Straddle posture, left, right. Come on, punch it out. Woo. Let's go. Come on, work it out. We're gonna burn now. Come on, Cynthia, burn it. Burn it. Come on, let's go. Burn it. Burn it. Stay with us, honey. Burn it. Come on. Burn it. We'll be right back. Burn it. Come on. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Welcome back. Now here's a workout tip for you. Drink a lot of water. It's good for diet and exercise. We and I got my water. I uh, got my water. I know. I always keep my promises. Thank you, Paramount Beverage Company, for the <laughs> for the pouch H2O Oasis. It's really good. Thank you, Cynthia, for coming down today. <laughs> Cynthia. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of her. Good. You behave yourself. Cynthia Garrett is the best we guest we've ever had. You. Uh, Except she we have gifts for you. Cynthia. 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 Sean, Cynthia. Cynthia! Cynthia! See all guests receive Rollerballs, the newest, most innovative skate on the market. Check them out at www.rollerball.com or call 888-ROLLER-8 for ordering information.
And the vitamins of the future are here today. Effervescent VitaZing. Tablets you add to water creating tasty nutritional drinks that are faster acting and more energizing than regular vitamins. New VitaZing. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.